The ADL Vantage is an advanced, high-speed wireless data link that is designed specifically for GNSS RTK applications. The ADL Vantage is compatible with other Pacific Crest, Satel, and Tremble UHF radio products. Your success in using the ADL Vantage is Pacific Crest Corporation's primary goal. The ADL Vantage is a complete turnkey system and should include all of the items necessary for operation with your GPS system. To operate your ADL Vantage in the field, you will need other equipment. These items can be supplied by Pacific Crest or your authorized dealer. Your Pacific Crest dealer will configure your ADL Vantage for operation at your licensed frequencies, but it may need some personalization prior to use. Depending on what you need to do, this can be done either in the office using the ADL-Conf radio configuration software or in the field using the ADL Vantage user interface. ADL-Conf is a software utility used to configure the ADL Vantage. It ships with all radios in the ADL family and is available for free download from the Pacific Crest website. To install ADL-Conf, insert the ADL Vantage CD into your PC. After a few seconds, the installation application will launch and guide you through the installation process. Now attach the ADL Vantage programming cable to the power supply, to the PC, and then to the radio. Connecting the power supply to wall current will turn on the radio. You may also turn on the radio by pressing the on-off button on the front panel. Launch ADL Conf on your PC and click the connect button on the right of the screen. For guidance using any ADL Conf function, click Help and then User Guide. A copy of the User Guide is included on the CD or from Pacific Crest's website. You may wish to save your radio's current configuration to your PC by clicking File and then Export. You can then return your radio to this configuration at any time in the future. ADL Conf's identification screen displays some basic information on your ADL Vantage radio. It also allows you to input a call sign and an owner name. The radio link screen displays the channel table entered by your dealer. You can select a channel to use as well as set the radio's link rate, modulation type, sensitivity, and transmit power. You can make these configurations in the field using the radio's front panel. The serial interface screen displays the radio's link rate with the PC or data source, such as a GPS receiver, as well as the data protocol to be used for communication with the data source in the field. Again, you can make these configurations in the field using the radio's front panel. The frequency screen allows you to input receive-only frequencies into your channel table. The ADL Vantage is easy to use right out of the box. Attach the antenna to the ADL Vantage either directly to the TNC connector on the top of the radio or via an antenna cable as shown here. If you are using a remote antenna, screw the antenna onto the antenna adapter cable and attach the adapter to your tripod. Then attach the other end of the antenna cable to the top of the ADL Vantage and clip the ADL Vantage into a slot in one of your tripod legs. Now connect the ADL Vantage to the source of the data you will transmit, for example, a GPS receiver, using the data power cable that shipped with your radio. When you're done, join the data power cable's connector to the ADL Vantage batteries connector. Make sure the ADL Vantage is attached to its antenna. Plug the radio into the battery and it will turn on automatically. The enhanced user interface allows you to configure and troubleshoot your ADL Vantage in the field. The top row of the LCD displays the name of the currently selected firmware function. Press the right or left buttons on the front panel to display other functions available in the ADL Vantage. The bottom row displays the various options for the selected function. The currently active setting is marked with an asterisk. To select another option for the displayed function, Press the up or down button to display the desired parameter, then press enter to reconfigure the radio to use this new parameter. ADL Vantage covers a 40 MHz range, depending on your license. 
Your supplier can pre-program channel tables into your ADL Vantage that will allow you to choose the combination of frequency and bandwidth you would like to use. All ADL Vantage models support both 12.5 kHz and 25 kHz channel bandwidths. In the field, you can set the following radio parameters. Radio bit rate, serial baud rate, modulation type, data protocol, repeater mode, receiver sensitivity, transmit power, CSMA, and channel bandwidth. You can see the meaning of receive LED and the signal strength. You can also view the battery status and the serial number. The following information can be seen on the radio, but only configurable with ADL Conf. Owner and call sign. Refer to the ADL Vantage user's guide for the factory default settings. The ADL Vantage front panel also includes three LEDs. The transmit LED indicates that the ADL Vantage is broadcasting. No special command is needed to initiate the broadcasting of data. All you have to do is attach the radio to a source of data, such as a GPS receiver, and turn it on. The power LED indicates the power status and also provides a low external voltage supply indicator. When lit, the power is turned on. The power LED will blink to indicate if the external voltage supply is approaching the minimum value. This minimum value is set on ADL Comp's radio link screen. The receive LED indicates the ADL Vantage is receiving an RF carrier signal from another radio or from a source of interference. You can also set the receive LED to flash only when data packets are received and decoded. During normal operation, the receive LED will flash at once per second rate, indicating the reception of transmissions from the transmitting radio. When you've finished with the ADL Vantage, turn off the radio and return it to its carrying case. Be sure you face your radio toward the outside of the case and put the data power cable in the pocket next to it. This will ensure longer operation of your ADL Vantage. Occasionally, there could be a problem with the ADL Vantage. It's easy to troubleshoot the error codes that are displayed on the screen. The error code can be seen on the LCD screen and the LED will flash the number of the error code. There is a table of possible error codes and what to do in the ADL Vantage User's Guide. To clear an error code, hold down the power button for three seconds, then wait one full second and turn the radio back on. If this doesn't clear the error code, then contact technical support. If the power LED does not respond to the on-off button, then the external voltage supply should be inspected. Sometimes you do not get the best performance out of your radio. Here are some tips and techniques for the best performance from your ADL Vantage. The placement of your antenna is critical to the performance of your radio. Where possible, select a position where you can have the transmitting antenna as high as possible. Line loss decreases the output power that can be transmitted by the antenna and this will decrease the signal's range. Make sure your cable isn't any longer than it needs to be. Check the loss per length of the cable you are using. You can do this using Pacific Crest's PCC Range Estimator software utility that's included on the ADL Vantage CD. For every three decibels of line loss, your output power and effective range will be reduced by half. If the receive LED is on continuously, then a source of interference may be impacting the ability of the ADL Vantage to receive data. Try repositioning the antenna, or changing to another channel at both the transmitter and receiver to reduce or eliminate the interference. Your batteries need to be maintained for optimum use and performance. Connect the battery to its charger at the end of every working day. Do not let the battery discharge completely. You can use ADL Conf to configure ADL Vantage to shut off when its battery's voltage drops below a user-specified limit. If you are not using the battery for an extended period of time, be sure to charge it for 24 hours every three months. Your ADL Vantage radio is built tough for real working environments, but it always pays to take care of your ADL Vantage and all of your accessories. 
The ADL Vantage from Pacific Crest, the gold standard in communications and positioning.